Hey everyone, Andrew here, and Dora's sitting over here. <laughs> uh, Dora, you want to say hi? Yep. Dora, you want to say hi to the audience? Say hi! Say, say hi, Dora! <laughs> I need to figure out. Dogs can't talk, but it's because she's a... I don't really know. <laughs> I guess she just feels a bit like camera shy. But today, here on the YouTuber Critic Gaming Portion, I am reviewing the three Monster Jam games for the Wii. That's regular Monster Jam, Urban Assault, and Path of Destruction. All three different than the others. So what's making them different? Let's look at them separately, but first off, Monster Jam. The very first game. Now, I might say this really takes the cake. This makes you feel like you're driving a monster truck if you go to first person view. And I mean, yes, all three of these games, whoops, had them upside down. Let me, <laughs> never mind. These games do great, but they keep getting better. This one managed to let you go off-road after you manage to complete every single series. Well, except for the World Series. <laughs> That's how I managed to beat the game, but I'm not 100% yet, because I need to find a way to unlock all of the videos. That's right. In every single Monster Jam game, there are videos of real monster trucks and all real Monster Jam trucks in action. Now, let's move on to Urban Assault. This includes seven more car trucks than Monster Jam. I forgot which, but... And it also has more tracks and, and more events, and it and includes... 12 skill competitions for in this game, which is pretty more, which is a bit better than the original Monster Jam. But then, but then, oh, then, we got Path of Destruction. Now, if you notice, there's a, like, a little hole there. I, when I bought this game, it looked like that. I did not do anything to damage it. This includes one more than the original game, the Urban Assault. This also includes 8 Aesthetic Stadiums, 32 Racing Events, 24 Freestyle, and 5 Bonus Games. Which is a, which is a little downgrade from Urban Assault. But you know what made it pick it up? You can design your own monster truck. I mean, I had fun making a monster truck in this game. I mean, it was so awesome. 28 monster trucks? Wait. They have that Mohawk car in the game? I need to finish it! God! Uh, yes, I haven't unlocked out the car, so I gotta go back. <laughs> but now, to the review. Well, the scores. Let's go with the first, second, and third, as in when the games were released. Which means, beginning with Monster Jam, though it has great number of cars, great stadiums, it kind of, and also great time to make your goal for the overworld, it gets a 7 out of 10. So, uh, I kind of recommend this for, like, first time Monster Jammers. Like, people getting used to Monster Jam. Monster Jam Urban Assault gets a 9 out of 10. I mean, you know, this game is pro probably the most epic I have ever seen, but it does not take the cake for some reason, you know? It just feels like something's missing. I'll give you three guesses on what Monster Jam Ur D Path of Destruction gets. <laughs> if you get 10 out of 10, you're right, because... And with the fact of more trucks than any other game, more racing events, more freestyle events, and the ability to make your own flipping monster truck, it gets a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's amazing. I I recommend this game for for newcomers to Monster Jam and Monster Jam fans all alike. <laughs> so, well. I think I'm going to be playing, going around in er, in some of the uh, areas in Monster Jam in like my own like uh, 
Sunday Drive, or should I say Sunday Crush, or Thursday Crush, later today, so uh, stay tuned for that. Well, I better get going, guys. I gotta prepare myself for recording on the TV with a webcam, and we all know how that kind of went. <laughs> I, it kind of sucks, yeah. So, till then, make sure you guys subscribe to me, follow me on Twitter, and check out these fine videos right beside me. Probably some Monster Jam videos are there. You can check them out. So, till then, guys. See ya!